All right, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. You know, there's a lot of big stories happening out there right now. One of them that has got your attention and because it's being covered on all the major news networks and it's, it's very important, it's very tense uh, across the globe in this Russia-Ukraine story. Now, not only is it interesting in, in the, uh, just the global political issues that we have, but also it affects the economy here. I want to play a quick clip from you from CNBC this week talking about fear in the market and buying bonds. And then I'm going to equate to what it means to you. So let's go ahead and roll tape, guys. All right, heavy gunfire heard by reporters from both the Associated Press and Reuters near an airport in the eastern Ukrainian city of Kramatorsk, which is roughly 100 miles from the Russian border. 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Ukraine's acting president announced an anti-terrorist operation against the insurgents who have seized control of numerous buildings in the east part of the country, and Ukrainian fighter jets were seen by reporters on the ground in the region, as you see in this video here. That 10 a.m. announcement of a counterattack coincides almost precisely with the rally that we've been showing you in U.S. Treasuries, a classic flight to safety trade. When there is fear, investors buy U.S. government bonds. We are showing you the yield on the 10-year. Remember, when bonds climb, their yields fall. Our interest rates... Perfect way to finish that line. When bond prices climb, their yields fall. Now, here's what you need to know. We just talked about the Russia-Ukraine story. Recently, you've seen troubles in Europe, in Spain. China's market is cooling down. One of the safest investments that still exists is the U.S. bond market. Now, when we equate that to some of the things you might be experiencing here at home, why this matters to you... You've heard about quantitative easing three, the Federal Reserve buying bonds off the market, stimulating the economy. It affects mortgage rates. The free marketplace, the global marketplace, is also buying bonds off the market, affecting supply and demand. When those bond prices go up because of supply and demand, those yields going down, we're seeing that translate into the lowest mortgage rates of the year. So the cost of home ownership, very low. Refinancing can still make sense. You just have to explore these things. If you have questions, again, we always encourage you to go to craigsewing.com. Get a mortgage review. If you're a renter, get a renting versus owning analysis. It's just a smart thing to check out. We're here to help you in any way we can. Uh, one of our experts that helps us with this stuff is a, a real estate elite. He covers downtown all the way up the coast. Recently, uh, he went up in a helicopter for Channel 6, and he was exploring all the things happening in San Diego. He was on my radio show this week. Uh, he's specializing in helping people buy real estate, sell real estate. Recently acquired, I think, a $4 million listing. He's also been featured in Pacific Magazine. So very good friend of mine, very good friend of the show, uh, Seth O'Byrne. Welcome, Seth. Thanks for having me. So flying around in the helicopter, I should also mention that you uh, recently featured in Pacific Magazine. So yep. if anyone hasn't grabbed uh, the magazine yet. So first of all, helicopter ride. Tell me about that experience. Yeah, it was really cool. It really was. Yeah. So we um, we ended up taking the helicopter up because Channel 6 News wanted to talk uh, about some of the best properties on the market. Um, they gave us a call, which was a huge honor. Yep. And I said, you know, why, why, why walk around this property when I can take you up in a helicopter and show it to you from the air? Some of these beautiful estates in Rancho Santa Fe, La Jolla, Del Mar, um, if you see them from the air, you really get a scope. You know, this is a three-acre piece of property, 8,000 square wow, feet. And you, and you can see your shadow yeah. hovering above these things. So we flew over four listings that are four Sotheby's listings, and we wanted to show how beautiful these uh, properties really are in the only way we think we could, which is uh, up in the air. Now, l let me uh, switch gears on us here. So recently, the San Diego Association of Realtors just did an event, had a few thousand people at it. Sure. Uh, I really want this to be a great takeaway for our audience. Seth is the guy that educates the guys and gals of the real estate industry. So the San Diego Association of Realtors, uh, they had you speak on a panel recently, basically educating the other professionals uh, about the marketplace. So we got some pictures of it from your website, uh, sethsold.com. Uh, that's the empty room. Yes. Uh, you spoke in front of that when it was a full room. What, yes. What, what did we learn? What did you teach the professionals and what do our, what our viewers need to know? Yeah, so um, what we talked about at this, um, this was actually a really interesting thing that was put on by Hear It Now, which is a division of Inman News. Arguably, uh, Inman News is probably one of the most influential people in the real estate um, news um, arena, specifically sure. for residential real estate. And um, they had a panel of first-time home buyers all the way to experienced home buyers and sellers talk about what their experience was, and then um, have a, a, a series of agents across the county talk about best practices and how we would have 
treated that same situation differently or how technology uh, or best practices can solve problems that are commonly seen in residential What estate. the consumers have to say? Uh, it was really interesting. Communication, always number one. Yep. Everybody wants to know what's going on. Even if it's a bad thing uh, that you don't want to, that your agent doesn't want to call you about and you might not want to hear, you have to hear. Yep. Um, number one. Number two, um, technology. Um, you know, we all have phones that text and have email now on our, our smartphones. We need to be using them. Yep. And consumers are now expecting um, anywhere between 20 minutes to one hour turnaround time on response. Whereas three years ago, it was 24 to 48 hour response times. With well, the, well, the game has changed. And I think that really illustrates why you're doing so well. There's a lot of outdated people in real estate. Uh, there's new technology of social mm -hmm. media, video, all this stuff now. And, and really, uh, being a, a younger mover and shaker as you are, I think it's it's giving you a competitive advantage. Now, did you learn some of this stuff at USD? I did. Yeah, so you're, you're an alum from USD. Uh, you wanted to talk specifically on that. I, I'm really excited to get into it. Uh, we have a video here real quick. Let's, uh, let's roll tape, guys. USD is incredible because since the 1950s, it's impacted the city of San Diego in a huge way. It's produced some of the most prominent politicians and policymakers for San Diego. And it's also created some of the greatest CEOs that San Diego's had in the last five decades. The University of San Diego impacts the local San Diego economy because not only does it employ 1,800 local San Diegans for faculty and staff, it also brings 8,000 undergrad and graduate students to the city of San Diego every single year. On top of all that, the city of San Diego taxes USD on over $360 million in net operating income every single year. USD is unique because similar to the city of San Diego, USD is one of the most beautiful monuments on the West Coast. I think as the city of San Diego grows, USD grows right along with it. I'm from the University of Missouri. Well, sure. From Missouri. Went to the University of Missouri. Sure. I always wondered what it would be like to go to school at USD. So you're in a lot. Yeah. And you brought with you Pamela Gray. How who are is, you? Let me make sure I, I get this correct. The AVP of Public Affairs. Correct. Correct. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for joining. Thanks for having so, me. So first of all, went to school there graduated, now you've done some incredible things. I'm sure, sure. that uh, USD had uh, their hands on that in some way, shape, or form. What was like going to school there? It was incredible. Um, you know, it was, I actually started selling real estate when I was a student at the University of San Diego, and the USD Real Estate Institute was already around, but it was growing immensely right around me. And um, the USD Real Estate Institute now is considered probably the most powerful real estate institute in the country. Um, inc that includes Ivy League schools across how, the country. How so? Because um, they affect they affect policy, they affect thought process, they affect um, national um, you know mixed use, um, green building, you know a lot of different policies um, uh, are, are are created and are talked about actively in the institute. And there's a lot of real mover and shakers in the real estate community that are part of that USD Real Estate Institute. Cool, Pamela. Anything new happening there? Lots of things happening. Yeah. New School of Engineering. Uh, we launched that last September, so we will graduate our first students who will receive a degree in engineering uh, from the university, the, the School of Engineering at the university. Graduation is just around the corner. We'll have another 2,000 or so students who are leaving prepared for jobs in San Diego, ideally, but many of them will leave and go and share. That's what I was going to ask you. Do, do a lot of people come from out of state and then leave, stick around? I mean, where? first of all, what is the size? of USD as far as enrollment. Sure. And then what, where, do these, where do these kids come from? So we average somewhere around 8,300 full-time equivalent students. That's not the actual number, but of full-time students. There's somewhere around 7,000 of those. Um, most of those are going to be our undergraduates, but we also have six other programs where our students are making an impact. So we've got the law school, the school of business, which Seth is a graduate of, a school of nursing, a school of leadership and education sciences and the College of Arts and Sciences. That's the bulk of our school. The, one of the newer schools is the School of Peace Studies. Most of our students will graduate. Many of them stay in the San Diego region, but you will find several of them who are going somewhere around the world. 
Yeah, so you know, we, we talked a lot about the economy, the mm -hmm. jobs market on, on national levels, and a lot that has to do with the, the local economy, has right. to do with the jobs you're creating on a local level. So you're producing uh, the, the workers of tomorrow and, and with the new engineers. I mean, are there jobs for these people here? I don't want to make you go too deep into the macroeconomics <laughs> of San Diego, but I mean, are, you're doing a great job of equipping the, the students with the tools that they need. Are there places here in San Diego for them to find jobs? Is it tough for them? You know, the majority of our students will graduate prepared to work. Occasionally there are students, and, and many of them, frankly, who want to go into research and therefore they'll go on to graduate school. But we prepare students for whatever their goal are, goals are beyond USD. Sure. Whether you want to go to graduate school, law school, uh, you want to do research in the sciences, you want to start working for one of the local companies in engineering or pharmaceuticals in San Diego is a big market as well. Our students are ready for those entry-level jobs and beyond in many cases. Get your real estate license to work for Team Set. That's right. That's <laughs> right. How, how's real estate, you know, in that, in that market, micro market? Uh, it's great. Investment it's properties. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. USD has been a strong part of my business for a very long time. It's why uh, you know I'm on the USD alumni board and I'm very active with the USD Real Estate Institute. Um, I um, work with a lot of families. USD um, in general, um, you know, though though it's a very wide economic bracket. There's a lot of people at USD whose families have done well, they're in business themselves, they have money, and they want to invest in San Diego. Mm -hmm. So it's been a cornerstone of my business is selling homes to people that are involved with the University of San Diego, um, including a lot of people who work at USD. So yeah, I'm, it, it's, it's been a really great relationship. Pamela, thank you for coming in here today. My Hopefully pleasure. we can get you back in here again. It's great to support the, the local college. Thank you for having Seth, us. Seth, always good to have you in here. What, what's, you know, what's next with you? You know, you're, you're, you're doing a lot of high-end properties in Pacific Magazine. You're speaking at SDAR. I don't, I've always said about Seth O'Byrne, I swear the guy's a quadruplet because <laughs> you see him everywhere. Uh, what's next for you? What's next for housing? So um, we've got a lot of stuff that's going to be really exciting. Um, a lot of advertising that we're doing through television, radio, on specific properties. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to do a lot of cutting-edge marketing that nobody else is doing. We're really excited about that. Um, uh, speaking engagements coming up. Um, I'm actually going to be at a, um, on another panel, uh, also hosted by the San Diego Association of Realtors at the W Hotel um, at the very end. I think that's May 28th. And um, that's, uh, it's called the New School of Real Estate. And it's what people are doing now that they didn't do in the last decade. So really excited about awesome. that. Awesome. SethSold.com. He's a pro's pro. Uh, the, the industry relies on him for information. You should, too. If you go to SethSold.com, one of the cooler websites of real estate, as, you, as you're looking here, you can get free property evaluations. There's information for sellers, information for buyers, finding your dream home. He's got videos of all the micro markets of, of San Diego. Does a really good job of creating information so you can go there, browse around. And look, I really want you to focus on that free home evaluation. Appraisals cost 500 bucks your biggest investment. You can learn what the value of your home is for free, for free today. If you go to SethSold.com, he'll do that for you.